What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets Radio. We broadcast live every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, which is tonight. So we'll be on tonight at Talk Jets Radio on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe to this channel if you're not already. I think there's a glare in this video, but it's 6 o'clock in the morning and I got to go to work. So this is the best I can do. Um, Trenton Cannon was released, which is a little bit of a surprise. I guess maybe his foot injury isn't fully recovered. He had an element of speed that he kind of liked, had some return ability, but ridiculously inconsistent. Couldn't catch the ball consistently. Some fumbling issues. I was kind of hoping that speed could be added to the offense, especially when you have Bell, who's kind of shifty. Frank Gore is kind of a grinder. Perrine, not that elite runner. You know, I like Josh Adams as a running back, but you know, Cannon had that extra burst, like that Tariq Cohen kind of player, Tyreek Hill speed that you're looking for in the backfield. But so be it. I mean, running backs at this point are a dime a dozen, so that can be replaced. Quincy Munwa was officially released. Quincy was obviously not going to play this year anyway due to the serious neck injury. Um, sucks to see Quincy go. It's, the, whole, the whole way this evolved really sucks. He, um, he showed so much potential, such a physical, excellent receiver. Just, just couldn't stay healthy. Got this contract, which now becomes an albatross. The Jets are paying for a player that's not even on the roster, which sucks. But Quincy, as a, as a, as a man who is such a good guy, did a tremendous amount in the community. He was helping back with the with the kids and going to schools and doing all kinds of stuff that a lot of people don't even know about. So, and he came on our show a bunch of times too, talked about a lot of things. And I wish him nothing but the best. He's one of my favorite players. He does a lot for mental health. Just a, a overall very good guy. So, wishing nothing but the best that as he moves forward. Hopefully, he gets healthy and come back and play for somebody. And that's kind of it. You know, Brian Winters goes to Buffalo Bills. Interesting with the timing. The Jets bring him in, they work him out, and then they cut him. So maybe they saw something they didn't like in terms of his health, but if he passed the physical, he's healthy, you know, and, and Buffalo gets a guy when healthy. He's very physical. I think he still has a lot left in the tank, and we'll see what happens. The offensive line is going to be a story. We'll see if Jets have moves left to be made, because now they have a, a pretty good amount of cap space. So releasing Quincy now eats up some of that little bit of cap space, and you kind of see that Joe Douglas is getting ready for 2021, where they're going to have, I think right now they already have like 30 million in cap space before they make even cuts and stuff. Granted, they're going to have a lot of guys assigned because a lot of these players this year are on one-year deals. Poole, they seared, and all of Hewitt, and all these other guys. So interesting times for the Jets. They, they have the cap space to make a move if they want to. If they want to go out there, Logan Ryan or Clowney or Everson Griffin, or if they want to try out all these young guys, there's kind of where I'm leaning right now is there's so much uncertainty this season. Let all these young guys fight and compete. And then come late August, if you see a glaring need or there's a guy still in the market, then you go and sign him and, and see what happens. I mean, it's uh, strange times in the NFL. It's very, very weird how teams are going about things. Um, I think there could be a lot of roster moves. You have no idea what's going to happen with COVID. So um, stay tuned. Like I said, we're going to be we're broadcast live tonight at 8. And as news breaks, we'll do our best to do a lot more videos daily if we have to. Um, again, I apologize for this glare, but it's, uh, it's six o'clock in the morning. So I'll talk to you guys later.